Let's talk about my best and worst purchases of 2023 and what I'm doing differently in terms of shopping for 2024. first home so this is obviously a new setting so apologies in advance if the lighting is kind of interesting or if the sound is a little bit different I'm still trying to figure out my filming setup in this space but obviously super excited to be in here filming and just kind of getting back to work in today's video I want to share with you guys just my personal favorite gems that I picked up last year and a couple gems that I thought was gems that didn't turn out to be gems and just basically some things that I regretted in terms of purchasing last year. And with that, I kind of want to share with you guys just some little different things that I'm doing for the new year in terms of shopping. So I have the list on my phone. So I'll walk you guys through each piece, talk about why it was a banger or why it was a regretful purchase. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Stevie. I create men's fashion content just like this with the occasional vlog. And like I said, I just bought a house. So there's definitely going to be a lot of house content on the way. So if you kind of like these style of videos, if you like fashion, home decor, and just a little bit of everything, be sure to follow me here, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. You guys already know how these videos go. It gets chatty. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. And let's dive into my best and worst purchases of 2023. So as I mentioned, I have the list on my phone right here, starting off with my favorite purchase of 2023. It is hands down going to the Loewe puzzle bag in the large size in the khaki green colorway. I purchased this bag when I went to New York with my homie Jordan. If you guys didn't watch that vlog, be sure to do so. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. This bag right here was definitely a special purchase for me just because well, for a lot of reasons, it was my first Loewe piece. It's a bag that I've always had my eye on. If you guys are regulars or if you're not and you're new here, I'm really into bags. I have a bag collab that drops almost every year with another leather goods brand. And I feel like bags is just such a great kind of outfit finisher. And in this case, the reason why the Loewe puzzle bag was sort of a great kind of purchase and why it is number one on this list is because not only did I get a lot of wear out of it, it, it added that nice visual interest to my outfits, but it just was kind of a monumental, for lack of better words, a purchase for me because obviously it is a very expensive bag. And so to be able to comfortably afford that was definitely in a way a kind of career, career milestone for me. I did, however, even though it was my favorite purchase of the year, I actually did end up selling it to get some money to go towards the house that I bought with my wife, which is what we're standing in right now. My battery died as I was filming that clip. As I was saying, if you invest in high quality pieces, things that hold its retention in terms of value, you can go ahead and if you, you know, let's say you're buying a house or you want to buy a car or maybe you want to buy another fashion sort of designer piece. When it comes to certain pieces, if you invest in the good ones, you can easily sell it online and then get your money back. Maybe not the full amount, but maybe close to it. So you can use those said funds to get something else that you've been wanting. So like I said, the low of a puzzle bag was such a great purchase. And just the overall quality of that low of a puzzle bag was 10 out of 10. And every single time I wore it I always got so many compliments on social media as well as in person so I will leave it linked down below if any of you guys are interested and you want to check it out everything mentioned and worn and all that stuff will be down there in the description box for you guys this next item right here is essential for the new house. As I mentioned earlier, my wife and I just bought our very first home. And with that, we wanted to invest in high quality, amazing pieces that we know is going to last. And one of the most important things that we wanted to invest in and really make sure that we got a quality piece was our mattress. We got our mattress from Low. Shout out to Low for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. By the time that you guys are watching this video, we would have already used it and experienced it and all that stuff. We actually just opened it up right now, but I'm familiar with the brand. I've seen so much people talk about it. I've actually slept on a low mattress prior to getting this one and just overall i've heard and experienced nothing but great things from the low sort of brand the mattresses feel so premium so luxe and so lush if you are just the type of person you know you want to invest in high quality things for your home you want to have good quality sleep and you want to ensure that you know your mattress is going to do you right lol definitely has you covered they made it super convenient the mattress showed up in a convenient size box right in my front door and then we lugged it on up and then we opened it it came rolled up so we just hit it with the scissors opened it on up and then it just kind of expanded so that overall sort of unboxing experience itself was so convenient so easy granted kia had to help me but 
you know, if you have a two person job, like you can get it done. Lull has this amazing 365 night sleep trial. So, you know, you guys can go ahead and try out your mattress, test it out, see if it's for you. And if it's not, which I highly doubt it won't be, but if it isn't, they offer free returns, free shipping, and it's just super convenient to kind of get you your right low mattress. In addition to the low mattress being just an overall amazing premium mattress for such an amazing price, they also offer lifetime warranty. And yeah, I'm just overall excited to get a good night's sleep on my low mattress. It has been super hectic with moving into the new house, going up and down the stairs, furnishing, all that stuff. And so I think it's finally starting to hit us that we're in the new space and obviously the low mattress just makes it that much better. So if any of you guys are interested in checking out low, I will have that mattress linked down below. And I also have a special discount for you guys. I will have all of that information, the links, the sort of details, the discount code, all that stuff in the description box down below for you guys. Check that out if you're interested and much love once again to low for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. This next piece right here was actually a gift from Essence, but I personally already was thinking about buying it. Let's talk about my favorite puffer jacket of 2023, this entire studio's Soa Down jacket. This jacket right here is truly me in a puffer jacket. When I dropped the outfit photos for this particular jacket right here, I think to this day, it is my most like photo on Instagram. So that kind of tells you something. Um, everyone was kind of gassing me up in the comments. So shout out to you guys. And just overall, I always get compliments when I feature that jacket in my videos, when I feature it on Instagram. And I feel like that jacket is just truly everything that I look for in a jacket. It's super big and oversized. It keeps me nice and warm. It has interesting sort of visual details with the pools, with the super big oversized hood. I love that sort of washed, almost vintage, like worn in brown color. This jacket also does come in black and entire studios just as an overall brand makes amazing outerwear pieces. I don't want to, I hate to be that person, but I feel like I was one of the first people to talk about entire studios and then now I see everyone else talking about them, which is fine. But anyways, I digress. Going back to the piece in general, if you guys are looking for a solid puffer jacket for the winter season and if you're just looking for just great quality outdoor pieces in general, entire studios is definitely a brand to check out. If you don't like the super big oversized vibe of that particular one, they have so many other options. They have oversized cropped ones, they have regular fitting ones, they have they, they have puffer jackets without hoods, with hoods. They have they have quarter zips, full zips, anything you're looking for in terms of outerwear, Entire Studios has you covered. And that is definitely overall just a piece I could see myself holding for a very, very, very long time. I intentionally sized up to get that specific look that you guys are seeing with the B-roll clips and the photos. But to be honest, the jacket itself is just so big and so oversized. I probably didn't need to do that. But nonetheless, you guys, the regulars know I like my stuff to fit that way. So it kind of worked out. But overall the color the quality and just the price for what it was worth and what it is like in terms of the product truly something that even though i didn't even though i did get it gifted like i said i would have bought it myself and i will most definitely be buying other future outdoor pieces from entire studio so check them out Let's talk about my favorite boot purchase of 2023, and it is, of course, my Bottega Veneta tire boots. If you guys are regular to this channel, you would know that the journey to getting that boot was so long. I have been wanting that for years on years on years now, and I intentionally waited to get it last year because I wanted to see if that chunky boot trend and just sort of that overall aesthetic was going to kind of stand the test of time. And for me personally, I definitely think it did. Obviously, you know, the real fashion heads, the guys, you know, if you, you know what it is, that shoe came on the scene and it just took it by storm. Everyone was wearing it, everyone was buying it, everyone was reviewing it, and I liked it then and I like it even more so now after having it wearing it owning it a couple things that i want to say about the bottega veneta tire boots is one they are extremely heavy so it is something that you kind of have to get used to if you are thinking about purchasing it it is extremely heavy so in terms of just like walking in it and just carrying and lugging that boot around all day um it's kind of a bit much but over time you get used to it so just something to note and then it isn't the most comfortable shoe to start but just like with almost every great high quality boot the leather stretches over time it gets even better and it almost kind of forms to your foot so definitely something to note and my top tip when it comes to the Bottega Veneta tire boots is do not buy that boot full price online retailers like matches fashion essence flannels farfetch even all of those sort of online luxury retailers they always have random discounts on that boot right there and just Bottega Veneta pieces in general so I personally got mine at a really great price I personally would never buy that boot on 
unless it was on sale. So those kind of things are just things that I want you guys to know if you are interested in getting this boot right here. All right, so as you guys know, we talk a little bit about everything on this channel right here. So I wanna kind of take a pause on some fashion stuff and dive into some more lifestyle stuff. Another really great top purchase of me for 2023 was actually the camera that I'm using right now to film this particular video. This is the Canon EOS R10, I believe, with a 24 millimeter lens. This setup right here has changed the sort of game in terms of my content and how I film my videos and how I take my photos and all that stuff. And for those of you guys, side note, for those of you who are asking when I'm gonna do that updated how I edit my Instagram content, stories, photos, posts, all that good stuff. That video is coming. Sorry, it took a long time. Um, ever since I got this new camera, I've been kind of finessing the way I do my stuff. So now I have a system going, so I will share that video soon. But if any of you guys wanna be a content creator, I highly recommend this specific setup right here. It looks great for fashion photos, videos, YouTube videos, obviously even TikToks, all that stuff. The lens is so amazing. And the camera body itself is not that expensive and it's very user-friendly. Like I know how to operate a camera and I know what looks good behind the screen but i'm not a super big camera guy if that makes sense like i'm i don't know all the specs and all the tech stuff i know a good camera when i see it and i know a good price for a camera when i see it and this setup right here the one that i've been using for i would say the last six months or so um or not even the last six months i've been using it for a year but i just feel like i've never mentioned it the real ones remember i actually got a chance to work with canon last last year um towards the end of 2022 and then this is the camera that I've been using, but I just never mentioned it after that video. And yeah, I just love it so much. So if you guys are an aspiring content creator, if you just like photography or videography, this setup right here is amazing. I will leave it linked down below for you guys. All right, this is the last best purchase of 2023. And then we'll get into the couple of things that I regret. So my personal regret, if I had to move this item back up to number one, but I had to obviously leave with a fashion item because obviously this is a fashion uh, channel. But if I had to say it, ask anyone in my personal life. This item right here is truly my number one purchase of 2023 and it is my Breville Barista Express Espresso Machine. This machine right here has changed the game for me in terms of how I make my coffee, how I consume my coffee, what I think about coffee, just my overall coffee experience day to day. Fun fact, I used to work at a coffee shop when I first moved to Seattle, Washington for a few years and I feel like that is where the sort of love of coffee of mine kind of got established and ever since then, Loki, I've been kind of a, a coffee snob ever since and so so a good cup of coffee for me personally, especially when it, it's a way to start my day, just really goes a long way for me. This Breville Barista Express machine was on sale during Prime Day. And so I finally decided to get, I finally decided to get it. Prior to that, I just had an espresso and the espresso was great too, but this is, you know, we're entering a different sort of caliber, you know what I mean? Because with the Breville, you got to tamp your own stuff. You got to grind your own beans. You got to figure out the settings, all that stuff. So it's a very customizable experience. And it is truly for the avid coffee lover, just like myself. So I have all the accessories. I have just a little bit of everything. And like I said, ask anyone who knows me in my personal life. That machine is truly the love of my life outside of my wife and my daughter and my dogs. It's truly 10 out of 10. So if you guys love coffee, I highly recommend. I will leave that machine link down below and I'll also leave my accessories link down below because someone asked me in another video about that. Um, so I'll leave all that stuff linked down below. And my, my top tip when it comes to this machine is don't pay full price. Amazon always has sales. Crate and Barrel always has sales. William Sonoma always has sales. So it's a pretty hefty price tag when it's full price. But again, don't pay it full price. Just wait for the sale. And trust me, this machine, if you love coffee, it'll change your life. All right, so there's actually only two items that I kind of regret, or not kind of, I low-key regret this, these two purchases a lot, but it's just two, so it's not that bad. The first one being my super oversized cold bucks and tote bag. I want to lead with saying that I love cold bucks and as a brand. And at the time I really did like that purchase, but I think kind of after having it, after using it, the tote bag itself is just so mother effing big and it has no structure to it that I literally look like I'm just lugging around just a big floppy tote bag, which I understand is the aesthetic and that's the vibe, but I think I have other tote bags that kind of do that sort of look and feel without it being super oversized like that. Again, love Cold Bucks and as a brand, but I think just the practicality of that piece was never there. I got my outfit photos out of it. I got somewhere out of it and I took it when I went to travel and stuff. So in that regard, it was a good tote bag, but I think just if you're looking at it from a pure everyday, day-to-day -day work lifestyle tote bag, it's just too big and it's just not, it's just not it and it doesn't have any structure too. So that's kind of a 
like negative points all around. With that being said, in regards to things that I'm doing differently in 2024, I wanna talk about two things. The first one being is that I'm not going to show love to brands that I love just for the sake of showing them love. So as you guys know, I love Cole Buxton. That is one of my favorite brands. And sometimes I find myself wanting to support them financially just because I want them to, I wanna see them win as a brand. Hence buying things from their drops every now and then, hence the tote bag. Hence, I didn't need that, but I bought it because I wanted to support them and it was a vibe at the time. And so just being a little bit more mindful with my purchases, like you can love a brand, but you don't have to support them with every drop. You know what I mean? You can like their photo and you can reshare it and stuff, but you don't have to physically purchase stuff from them. And then the second tip that I wanna talk about and things, something I'm doing differently in 2024 is I'm going to stop buying things that don't hold and retain value so this cold bucket and tote bag respectfully it has no resale value so it's just sitting in my closet low-key my wife and i use it for when we drop off our daughter to her grandparents house because it fits a lot of stuff and again it is a really great travel tote bag but that's not necessarily why i bought this bag so again i'm gonna stop buying things that if it can't resell for almost close to the original price or just under it's not it's not a purchase for me and then the last piece that I wanna mention that I just truly regret, like I didn't regret it at the time, but I regret it now, but it's okay because I sold it on the real real and I got almost close to what I paid for, so it's fine. Let's talk about the Bottega Veneta mini cassette in that lime yellow green colorway. So I went to a store here in Seattle that just opened up. I think you guys know what it is. You know, with those kind of fancy stores, you almost kind of feel obligated to buy something. It's kind of one of those things like they're watching you. There's not that much people in the store and it's just, they're friendly obviously, but it's, there's a specific vibe in those kind of stores. And so you almost feel like, you almost feel like they're waiting for you to pull out your card. And I think I kind of got caught up in the moment because it was on sale. It was a unique color at the time. And it just, I didn't really have something like that in my wardrobe. And I love Bottega Veneta as a brand too. So I bought it, I got some wear out of it. And then I sold it just like my low of a puzzle bag to get some extra funds towards this house right here. So on the bright side, it did hold its, it did retain its value, which was good. I did get some wear out of it. I think just overall, something I'm doing differently in the new year is I'm just gonna stop buying impractical things. That bag obviously is so small. It's true, you really can't fit anything in there. And so I can admit sometimes I get caught up in the vibe, I get caught up in the aesthetic. And that was a really great piece at the time because I bought it during the summertime. I wanted to come through with all the colors, all that stuff. But I think I'm just gonna stop doing that. Again, stop impulse buying and stop buying things that aren't practical. So if you do like this bag, I would suggest getting it in a very neutral color, especially for the ladies who watch me. You guys don't really carry that much stuff, maybe like a card holder, some lip gloss, and like your car keys or something. Like that's fine. You can you can fit that in there. But for the fellas that watch me, like my phone couldn't even fit in there. My card holder barely fits in there. My keys don't fit in there. So just a stupid purchase all around. But I mean the photos were nice, so I guess that that's a good thing, right? All right, you guys, and that is it for my top purchases of 2023 and what I'm doing differently in terms of shopping in 2024. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And again, apologies in advance for the lighting, the audio issues potentially. I don't know if there's gonna be lighting or audio issues, but if there was, I just wanted to call it out. We're in the new house and all that stuff. So if you didn't watch that empty house tour video, definitely be sure to do so. It went up before this video, so go watch it. I'll leave it linked down below. Hopefully you guys are having a great start to the new year. Let me know if there was anything that you bought last year that you were like Stevie, this was such an amazing purchase and I think you would like it. Drop it down in the comments down below. I'm trying to not buy stuff right now because I just bought a house, but you know, I'm always, as it doesn't hurt to look, you know? So let me know if you guys had some banger purchases of last year and then let me know if you're doing anything differently in the new year in terms of shopping, uh, like what is your sort of no buy list for 2024? Or what are you looking forward to buying in 2024? Love hearing from you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, like I said, happy new year and thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.